Hello my friends, we're here today to see how you can export your products, your listings from Nemble as a CSV file and use them either as a backup or to edit massively any aspect of your products and import it again back in Nemble. The second option of editing is useful for anyone of you, any online seller who wishes to either restock their products, meaning changing quantities, for instance, because there's a new season coming in, or to add barcodes, which is something very typical that has to happen if you export from eBay, as you can see here, I've done in my Nimble account, and uh, wish uh, to list on some other channel which uh, requires a barcode, for instance, Amazon. Or you can also use this massive edit, CSV edit, or Excel or Apple number edit to add SKU codes if you don't have them for the same reason or massively edit prices because you get to the end of a season you start a sales period you want to reduce prices and also mass edit uh, anything from titles to descriptions or tags or even add variants so let's see how it works we're here in the products tab of my Nemble account and uh, I select uh, a few products for instance three products and uh, I could select all of them, all in the page, or even select 500 of them for uh, a larger backup. But you'll see if you just select a, a few of them, you understand why in a second. So I select three products, pick actions, export CSV. And here I have this um, dialog box where I can either by default keep the three selected or export a file with all products, meaning uh, hundreds or thousands of products or tens of thousands of products I have in my Nemble account. And, and then I can choose to export either all listing details, which is the default choice, or a, a simpler CSV file with inventory data only, which is the SKU code, the GTIN, the ASIN, if it exists for your products, the quantity and the price. Bear in mind that uh, either or uh, can be just uh, you know, edited and uploaded back into Nemble with no change, no difficulty. So just pick the one you prefer. We stick now in this example to all data, so you, you see all functionalities. I, I clicked download. You can see I have here in my Chrome the file you just exported. I double click. It's opening it. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to by default use uh, Apple numbers. And in a second, here we are. So this is the, the, the Apple numbers view of my CSV file, of the CSV file I downloaded. You can see there's a, a bunch of columns uh, which are the fields of uh, the product as you see it in Nemble. The title, the description, which contains uh, HTML tagging for pagination, the option name, which is the variants, the values of option name one, uh, variant two, option name two, variant three, option name three, and their values, the SKU code for each variation, the space for GTIN, for ASIN, which are uh, not there, quantity, price, the image link, and so on, all the information you need, the tags and the category, uh, all the information you, you find in Nemble as a product. And in addition, there's an additional uh, uh, column here, the ID, uh, which is generated in Nemble and it is unique per each product. So you can see the first six lines have the same ID. It means that it is the same product with uh, six variations. And then we have uh, uh, a different ID and uh, again two of them which is another product with two variations. So as a backup imagine that this would be your file with maybe thousands of lines you just uh, hold it in your uh, PC and then you can use it for uh, any use even upload it in Nemble later on. But if this was done to edit let's see how it works. So let's imagine I wanna do the typical thing which is adding a GTIN right so I had in my clipboard a genuine GTIN, so it's uh, this is a, a 4, 8, 12, 13, so this is an EN13 code, and uh, imagine that you want to add one GTIN, one EN code, per each variation of product number one. Of course, in this case, I, I just had one copied. Imagine you purchased these barcodes from uh, a genuine supplier of EN codes, as just one could be, and uh, and here we are, right? Uh, I may, I'm making them up. Uh, so I, I just added a GTIN and let's imagine I want to change the quantity from 20. We're going to bring this to 20. And uh, we keep uh, half of them at 20 
oops, and uh, and half of them are at 10, and uh, reduce the price to 9.9. .9. Okay, and uh, let me say change the title in old season. Okay, here we are. We made a few changes. So right now the goal is to import these changes back into Ambo. So you just go export as a CSV file. This is going to just keep the default of your uh, Apple numbers in my case. So just let me add a number to find it into my very complicated PC. And uh, here we are, right? So back into Nembo, we exported, we edited. Now we want to put it back. So you don't need to select the same products. You can be even, you know, next day or in a week. Uh, you just go import CSV, different command, and choose file. I need to look for the file I just generated. This is it. Open. There it is. Start import. You can see here the import status and uh, the import complete with one edited product, which is now the one uh, the one on top. So let's see. You can see already the the, the price changed in the and the title too. It's all season now. If if we go into it. There it is. We have the bar because we added the quantity. We said that half of them would be 20 and half of them would be 10. So you can see the price changed, the quantity changed, the barcode changed. We the, the skew code is the skew code is of course uh, unchanged. Anything else is unchanged. So this uh, process can be used to change any aspect of the product, including adding variations if you want, which is the most complex thing you can imagine. So let's uh, stick to this. Uh, product or go to the next one. So we have uh, this product here, Test Vintage Oval Deep Blue, blah, blah, has option name amount, 12 piece, 24 pieces. So we can add and uh, copy the line of the variation number two and add a 36 piece variation. The SKU code is of course copied, which is unacceptable. You cannot have duplicated SKU codes in most systems. Uh, it doesn't have a picture, but it's not important. Let's say we want to add tags, which is another thing many sellers want to do and also add a brand. So tag one comma tag two comma tag space three comma tag four. That's it. And a brand, it's uh, my brand, right? And we copy this in all of them and also the tags category we stick with pearls awesome so now what do we have to do we export again as a csv as i did earlier and then i will uh, use the import csv function to get it back into nimble as i did earlier but once again this function of uh, mass editing via csv can be applied by advanced online sellers to hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of products. Uh, the classical case is, uh, as I said earlier, is uh, when you want to add uh, GTIN, you want to add barcodes to your existing listings, your existing, for instance, eBay listings. And uh, these actually can fix the listing on eBay, adding, adding barcodes, or it will fix your listings and will, it will make them ready to be exported to another channel. Same applies to prices, to quantities, or even to titles as we have seen. This uh, import CSV, also an edit CSV, makes your Nimble compatible with any uh, ERP system, which will generate each new season an additional file with uh, a SKU code or a barcode and a new quantity. And you can basically use the CSV import to update your uh, existing listings in Nemble with a new with a new quantity therefore restocking so that's all for today don't forget to like this youtube channel uh, to receive the next uh, updates from our video producing factory have a great rest of the day